Hello students, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be learning about the constraints in developing any management information system. So we will understand what factors can hamper the development or deployment of any MIS in an organization. So the first factor or constraint that becomes a hindrance in developing an MIS is the resistance from the management itself. So if the top level management of any organization does not want to bring up to purchase or develop an MIS, then it becomes very difficult to implement that MIS for that particular organization. And the reason for such a scenario might be that the management does not want to adopt a new method of doing the work they are very comfortable in the uh, procedure in the manner in which the work is being done in the present scenario without the MIS and they might also worry about how the employees of the organization will manage with the MIS whether the working environment would still continue to be uh, fine with the incoming of the MIS so there might be many factors due to which the top level management might not want to to use and develop the MIS in their organization. So the second constraint is the non-cooperation from the staff. So if we have a scenario when the management actually wants to bring up an MIS and utilize in their company, the staff might not cooperate with the management because it is the responsibility of the staff to use that MIS and adjust themselves to learn the new skills to use that MIS effectively. And the staff might not want to come out of their comfort zone, learn those new skills and adapt to this new environment. Also, some staff members might feel that the automation that will be achieved after the incoming of the MIS might lead to firing or re uh, removal of uh, employees from the company. So in that scenario also, staff members might not cooperate with the top level management for bringing in the management information system in the organization. The third constraint can be the non-availability of experts for developing the MIS. So whenever an MIS has to be developed for the first time or purchased for the first time in any organization, we need experts in that particular area who can guide the management, who can train the employees to utilize the MIS, to develop the MIS in the correct way as per the needs of that organization. But in case the management and the staff both want to use the MIS and develop develop them, develop it, but experts are not available, then in that scenario also, this reason becomes a hindrance in the development or utilization of the MIS. The next constraint can be the investment that is required for the MIS. So whenever a new information system is incorporated into a working environment, we need to we need to invest the money or uh, put in the cost for purchasing the hardware or the software of the MIS. We need to put in investment for training the employees. The experts also require some investment from the organization. So if such kind of investment is not available in that company, then it becomes a factor that might lead to the uh, non-utilization of MIS in that organization. The next factor that limits the usage or development of an MIS is the large development time that might be required to customize an MIS for a particular enterprise. So if the management decides that they want to purchase or develop an MIS, but they have very tight project deadlines and timelines in their hand, they might defer the development of the MIS because at present they cannot devote their manpower and the working hours that the employees have to utilize in other projects. So since a customized MIS for a particular scenario requires a time from the management and the employees equally, so this factor sometimes may lead to the uh, delaying of acceptance of an MIS into an organization. And the last constraint in developing an MIS is the system incompatibility issue. So there 
might be a situation when the MIS might have to communicate with the systems, the software programs, the hardware that is already existing in any institution or organization. And if the new MIS is not compatible with the old systems, it is not able to work with it, then the management might take the decision of not using the MIS at all because the use of the MIS will lead to the management also changing the uh, old systems and there also time, effort, cost would be required and a lot of changes would be required in that scenario. So when the new MIS is not compatible with the existing systems of the organization, that also becomes a hindrance in developing the MIS. So these are the constraints that become a factor to either the delay in the usage of the MIS or the organization not utilizing the MIS at all. Thank you for watching. I hope you have understood this topic. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.